Hey, what's the buzz? <laughs> it's all about Valentine's Day here and a really cute, fun project that I've got for you. This is one of the pillow boxes from Stampin' Up's mini catalog. This is a seasonal catalog and I have used a bunch of the different, pro uh, different products for it with this pillow box. It is so fun and I am just loving this cute little bee and the bee's attitude. It is just uh, fun. All right, and you can fill this box with all sorts of goodies. Right here is where you can open it up and fill it with whatever you want and then still close it up there you go and you don't have to worry about taking the ribbon off so <laughs> oh so much fun hi i'm julia with julia sue stamping where i am passionate about stamping coloring paper crafting creating cards and sharing the fun of doing all of that with you i'm so glad you're here today thank you for joining me i'm from northeast ohio and i am an independent stampin up demonstrator so let's get going on making this box we're going to be using the be my valentine photo polymer stamp set for this now it does say valentine on here and it does have a happy valentine's day stamp in here but you know what this stamp set can be used all year round it has great sentiments of your sweet as honey cute little eyes for the honey bee and you've got the bee you can make flowers you can make large flowers with the hearts small flowers here use some of these for backgrounds it's a great stamp set and very versatile it also comes with a coordinating punch so you can use this punch to um, help make the projects this can be a um, like a comment bubble or a balloon i'm sure you can see lots of uses for it making flowers out of these or even four leaf clovers if you wanted to and uh, of course hearts so great stamp set easy to punch there are also papers that coordinate with this and they are absolutely gorgeous so vibrant and fun cute little honey pots hearts little bees honeycombs very as i've said before very vibrant and very fun the one that we're going the uh, designer series paper that we're using for this project is right here oh my goodness how fun is this so you can use either side that you want but what I used was the red I took the six by six piece and the largest deckled circles uh, die that there is which is about six inches it ended up cutting this so i'm using these wonderful pillow boxes from stampin up and they come with adhesive already on them so it makes it very easy to use them the first thing you want to do when you're going to use them is to go ahead and begin getting these lines the score lines folded up so that it's easier to use and once you have that it has a top and a bottom. The bottom has adhesive already on it that you just peel off the adhesive backing. We're going to put this large deckled circle on top of the top. It's going to cover this just a little bit. You can cut that out if it bothers you or you can leave it as is. I'm going to leave it alone. And I'm going to use some tear and tape to have it stick on there really well so i've got some tear and tape here and i'm going to put it onto the back of this large six by six circle that i've cut and i'm going to put several strips of it on so that it adheres really well to my project
Now I'm going to begin taking it off. There we go. And here is <laughs> another piece right there. Ah, get that backing off. There we go. And now another piece of backing. Since this box is going to be dynamic and moving with all its beautiful um, pieces, I wanted to make sure this would really stay on there and then lay it down rather centered and adhere it. Great. Now we're also going to use our fingers and begin to manipulate it so that those score lines that we already folded a bit will now show up on our red piece or whichever color you've used for yours. All right, that's done. I'm going to go ahead now and take off the adhesive backing for the, <laughs> the um, pillow box. And there's one off, and now I'm going to get the other one off. Folding it in, and having the pieces meet one side down, and then the other side. All that's left then is putting your goodies into the box and shutting it like that. And you have this adorable box that you can use. It's, isn't that great? Okay, I did not want to put the um, designer series paper on the other side and I've left it white because then you would have to worry about the um, adhesive sides where they already put the adhesive for you and it would take a lot more cutting. I didn't want to do all that cutting. Now to finish off, you can put a bow on with some ribbon. I've got a petal, a uh, pool party ribbon here that I've got, I'm using. So once you have it with your goodie inside of there, then you can tie it. Very nice off to the side a little bit because I'm going to put a little bee on there, of course, because I'm using the stamp set <laughs> and I'm using these adorable punches and everything. So I already punched the bee body out of some lemon lolly. Then I'm using the memento ink and the bee stripes and body on top of a piercing mat to help give this photopolymer stamp a little bit more give. Since I can see right through it, it works perfectly. And I've got my little bee stripes. I'm going to do the same thing with the wings and the heart that I punched out of some basic white. Lastly, I have the antenna. Well, it's not last because I need to do the eyes, but I have the antenna that I'm going to do on this little piece of heart that I punched out for the antenna. Now, I think I'm going to have my little bee flying this way, and I thought he should have the side eyes going on today. So I've got that right here. <laughs> He's so cute. I have a piece of two by one and a half um, card, the basic white card stock, and I am stamping Happy Valentine's Day on there. Now I'm going to use a little bit of scotch tape and put the wings on my guy here, as well as the antenna, just a tiny little piece of the 
scotch tape to get that on there. There he is. Oops. <laughs> All right. And I'm going using a dimensional, I'm going to pop up the Happy Valentine's Day sentiment. Put it so it's right over the ribbon there. And then I'm going to do the same thing using some dimensionals onto the back of the B. Get my ribbon cutting scissors. And my attitude be with happy Valentine's Day is all done. <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness gracious. There you go. All right. Here he is. Again, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun making this box as I did. And I also hope that you go out there and you get inky today. Make some of these boxes. Have fun. It is so good for you mentally to have a hobby that helps you kind of, you know, forget about the time and, and just create. Just it's almost meditative and it's so good for you. I hope that you take that time. Everything used in this project is listed down below in the description and my online store is also listed there. So if you would decide to use me as your Stampin' Up! demonstrator and get any of these products, I appreciate your support of my small business. It helps me grow as well as please give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. All of these things help my small business grow and get the videos out there to more people. They're free, it's fun, great ideas, fun things to do. So I hope you have a fantastic day and that you get inky. Bye.